Hey, my name is Dan, and I've had the privilege to spend the past two years traveling and photographing this beautiful world that we live in. Recently, I was in Morocco and got to spend some time with the locals of a remote village in one of the country's most southern points. I had an absolute great time photographing some of the faces of this place, but today I want to show you how I use Luminar's feature Relight to really make it all come together. Alright, so let's hop into Luminar, and we're going to be using this picture, this portrait that I took of this kid, and I absolutely love this picture i love his expression but the one thing if i could if i was in a studio that i would have changed is i would have added a little bit more light to his face i really want to highlight a little bit more his expression and obviously we all know that when you're using natural light sometimes you're limited to your environment so something that i've been using here is a relight feature and it's been quite amazing how the ai just balances so well the shadows and the highlights while illuminating the picture so we're going to hit the brush here and i'm going to increase this brush size because i really want to get a soft selection here of his face once once you select the part that you want to highlight you'll come to adjustments and i'm going to bring this near brightness here a little higher well maybe not a little but you get the idea and then I'm going to just make it a little warmer to match that sun that's hitting his face. And, you know, maybe I will little, lower a little bit this. And you'll see just like that in like 20 seconds, you went from this dark, not properly illuminated face to this properly illuminated face, for, for lack of a better word. And to really finish this picture off, I'm going to just add a little bit of grain here, a little film grain. And I'm going to also vignette it a little bit. And I think that we're done here. And basically, again, let's look at the before and after. It's a really subtle change. But if you didn't see this before version and I showed you this, it's 100% believable that that light of the sun is what's illuminating his face in such a manner. So really big fan of this feature i think like i said the eye does a great job of balancing the shadows and the highlights when illuminating now this feature is used very frequently for faces but i would love to show you guys how i also use it in the environment so here's this other picture that i took and it was right next to where i took the portrait you'll see we have these rays of light kind of coming through the the pillars um but again, it's not illuminating it enough, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, once again, the relight feature. We're going to get the masking. And this time, I'll use a little bit smaller brush, brush size. And I'm going to just draw these lines here where the light is coming from. And again, when we come into adjustments, I'm going to actually use the far brightness here. Maybe a little bit in the near. But this one's really what I'm going to used to get to where i want so i think right there is looking nice i'm going to also once again make that a little warmer maybe not too much let's maybe use the near warmer slider here lower this one and you'll see look again once again when we see the before and after look at the massive difference that that does to the photo just you really focus on that contrast that you have of the light and the dark areas and what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to actually also add a mask here on the two pillars where the light is hitting and once again look at the big difference that, that does to the photo when you look at this photo you have a much better contrast now from that light coming into the darker areas and i'm a big big fan of when you have a dark part of the image really strongly contrasting with the bright part of the image so anyway that is it for today Again, I hope I showed how simple the Relight feature is and how impactful it can be. So, hope you guys enjoy using it. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day.